So you are a dentist and you are the proud owner of a dental practice with limitless potential, offering high quality products, services, and a dedicated team with the qualifications and experience necessary to make your dental practice a success. But where are all your patients? Is your waiting room emptier than my inbox and my email and my friend requests? If that's how the waiting room of your dental practice is looking, then your dental practice is in dire need of a major marketing injection. What, why and how are probably going through your mind right now, but I'm here to offer you a few ways of how you can begin to market your dental practice. My name is Hassan Mashaid. I'm an inbound marketing expert and I work for the world-renowned dental marketing agency, the Creative Composite. And here are five marketing strategies for dentists. Number one, you must create a well-designed website. I cannot begin to stress the importance of an effective website for your dental practice as this is essentially the face of your organization. Many patients and prospects will come across your website before even setting foot within your dental practice. So it would make sense to create a website that is beautiful yet functional and is able to promote the strengths of your dental practice. Why? Because first impressions count. As dentists, you have to understand or may have already come to understand the ugly truth that you may not want to hear. No one likes going to the dentist, unfortunately. Shocking, right? It can actually get as bad as patients having a fear of dentists known as dental phobia or dental anxiety. To help ease these concerns, don't let your patients be intimidated by your practice. Let them see your human side. Your practice's website should be a clear reflection of what your dental practice is like. The tone should be warm and welcoming to allow potential new patients to be able to trust your practice, so much so that they will be more likely to take the first step of making an inquiry. Coupled with a design that is clean, organized, sleek and sexy, you can make your dental practice stand out over all the others in your area. SEO marketing. Now that you've established a website, the next step is then ensuring that your website can be found. It's no good just having an amazing website if there's no one to show it off to. And that's where SEO comes in. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and is used for increasing your website's visibility and ranking on the results of a search engine. To put it simply, it makes sure that when you search for keywords relating to your dental practice or services on Google, your website will appear up on the first page of the results and not at the bottom of the hundredth page where you hide dead bodies. Some of you are probably wondering why this matters or if it does matter and the answer to that is yes and here's why. When people generally search for things on Google they do not spend all their time sifting through all the results to find the answer to what they've been looking for unless they have nothing better to do and like to waste their time. <coughs> How sad is that? But in all seriousness Many users want their answers to their queries to be accessible and fast. So if your website isn't ranking highly, then your amazing website that you put so much love and work into will just get swept under the rug. Content marketing. In order to build trust with potential patients and also develop prospective leads, it can be a good idea for your dental practice to invest some time in doing content marketing. Content marketing is a marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant and consistent content to attract, retain a clearly defined audience. An example of a form of content marketing is through the use of blogs. Blogs are a great way of providing content to your targeted patient base and show off your expertise, your knowledge and the difference between you and other people. As the blogger, you are the expert and have full control over what topics to write about and what information you want to share. You are not just limited to talking about dental products or treatments either. You can even write about past patients, your dental practice story and history, or even your philosophy as a dentist. There's numerous ways that you can educate your patients. Showing the patients this human side of your dental practice and team, and also that you know exactly what you're doing 
will instill confidence in your practice to them and gives your practice credibility and trust, helping to turn those prospective patients into long-term patients. Social media marketing. Another space where you could create content is through the use and through the course of social media. Social media marketing can be a very lucrative way of marketing your dental practice, especially with 3.5 billion active users around the world growing 9% on average year on year. With such a large number of people on social media, the potential is huge. If I may say, a pretty good deal. However, you can't just think of using social media as a way of just selling to these people like any other obnoxious salesman. Yes, you Ford Garage guy. You have to use social media in the way it was intended to be used. And that is to establish relationships. Whether those relationships are old or relatively new, social media is a great way of building relationships with patients and then forming an online community. Using social media in this way helps to form tighter bonds with your patients and helps them to trust your practice in making them feel more comfortable and making frequent visits. But it is not enough to just go on social media and just start creating content. To make social media marketing more effective it is important to remember that each social media platform is different and that different sites are better at delivering different content to different people. So you have to customize your approach. For example, Facebook is an intimate social media network used mainly by family and friends and can be an effective way of building relationships and opportunities for referrals. Twitter, on the other hand, can be useful for engaging in discussion with patients, answering questions and concerns about dental care and also handling customer service questions. One of the hashtags is popularly used, hashtag AskDentist. YouTube, of course, relies on visual impact to get the message across and the content here can be educational, informative, trust building and also entertaining. Knowing how social media platforms work can help to establish an online presence for your dental practice. And before you know it, you'll be receiving an appointment request right, left and center. Adapt an inbound marketing approach. Lastly is a marketing strategy that involves your whole dental practice. Adapting or adopting an inbound approach in every aspect of your practice can help your business attract prospective patients, build trust, credibility, as well as creating a loop cycle that continually generates new patients. How, you ask? Well, firstly, inbound marketing is able to create valuable experiences that have a positive impact on people. Different from outbound marketing, where you fight for the attention of your customers, Inbound focuses on providing patients with a pleasant experience from the beginning to the end and even after the treatment has been done. Along with a strong data presence, it can help to create referrals as patients turn online to share their experiences and you all know that through Google reviews. So those are just a few marketing strategies that we can give you to make your dental practice more successful and profitable because at the end of the line, the money matters. Hopefully from implementing these strategies into your dental practice, you are able to turn that empty waiting room into a busy waiting room full of happy, eager and loyal patients. For more information, check our website in the description below along with some links to our other social media sites. We have a great section on content creation and our blog section, so head over there right now. I'm Hassan Mashaid, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed my video, please comment below with any questions and then I'll personally answer them. Share because obviously other people want to learn as well and they need to learn and subscribe because it helps me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.